good morning Quirky Birders and welcome to episode one of your daily art challenge. So I shared with you to the page yesterday um, the line drawing that you need to um, get ready for your um, harbour scene. Um, when it comes to the drawing, um, as I said yesterday, may I suggest that you start by putting in the boats in first, particularly this one. And then you can add in your harbour wall and then just put in your very, very simple stylized little um, houses. They really are um, quite simple in, in shape. So today we're going to concentrate on the first part of the painting. Um, and that is going to be putting on the um, wash of the sky and also of the sea. Um, and then we'll also do a little bit um, on the roofs of the little cottages as well. So to begin with, um, I'm just going to, just using some clean water, just apply some water to the, um, the sea. So I'm just going to be careful that I don't get the water around the little um, the little boys. So you just need to just work that water into your paper. And come up around this side as well. Being careful around the harbour wall. And then just up and around the little boats. Like so. Okay, so once you've actually applied your water, you need to act pretty quickly because you are going to be working wet on wet. So working pretty quickly, just take up a nice vibrant blue and just wash that blue all over your painting. Now it really doesn't matter if you've got some different um, depths of colour, it makes no difference at all because once this coat has actually dried, what we're then going to be doing is applying some um, of the glazing. So you can just drop the colour straight onto the, wa onto the, uh, the water on the paper. And then just manipulate it where it's a little bit heavier. Just push that paint around and just manipulate it ever so slightly. And you will find that that paint will move because it's wet. The paint will move to where the water is. So just being careful around the little boats. Just gonna lift that color ever so slightly because that's a little bit heavy 
around the uh, the front of that little boat. So I'm just going to push the darker colour up to, up along the horizon line. So, so we can just leave that to dry and once that's dry we can then apply a little bit of the, uh, the glazing so we've got some nice texture going on in our little, um, in our sea. So we'll just let that dry and in the meantime what we can do is we can do a similar process to the sky. Now I'm just going to move the camera, there we go. Now for the sky you just want it to be fairly light. So again you just go in to wet the paper, only this time just keep your lines all in the same direction. So you just want it nice and keep it on the diagonal being careful of those roofs. You don't need to put as much um, down for the sky. And then all you need to do is taking up um, a nice bit of blue, a little bit different than the blue that you've put down for the sea. Dab the excess off on your kitchen paper and then just literally just score and scratch that sky in. You don't want a solid, a solid sky at all. You just want it nice and light. So you've got the appearance of some clouds. a little bit more water on that to get them to that paint to move and you just then end up with that lovely illusion of um, of the clouds across your sky Don't panic if you put some paint on it's too dark, just wet your brush and that will move. Like so. And that's all you need to do for the sky. You don't need to overwork it. You just want that hint of colour. I'm going to put a little bit more colour just in this bit here. Okay. So that's my sky done. So I'm just going to Put some of the details of the sky colour just in this little bit here by the bunting and then just move it around with a little bit of water. Lovely. Okay, so 
our little um, quirky houses um, have all got little blue roofs. So just using some of the, the blue that we've just mixed up um, for the sky, you can just paint in some of the, the details of the roofs. So you can use different colours of blue. Of course, you can do um, you can do your roofs um, in a traditional sort of slate colour if you want. You don't have to keep to the primary colours um, that I've painted this picture in. Um, but I just think it looks quite um, quite striking with the with the primary colours. Um, and looks quite nice and vibrant if you wanted to put it in a bathroom. So I'll just paint in these little roofs. Now we'll be working on this painting all week so the colour will develop and it will change. We'll be working a little bit with some glazing on the little houses as well as the um, as the sea. So don't think that uh, it's too um, it, the colours are too wishy washy at the moment um, because they will um, develop and get an awful lot stronger. So I'll we'll just um, pick up some darker blue for the little house at the back. Just being very careful that the dark blue doesn't uh, bleed into the sky. Let's come down this side. And then just once you've got your outline in place, you can then just fill in using your paint. Like so. I'm just going to push that darker paint just to that far edge. Lovely. And then I just need to um, just do the little, the little cottage. So I'll just mix up a little bit of a lighter blue. Just mix a little bit of the blue with some white just to get a little of a, a softer shade. And then I can just do this little roof here. So just being careful of the little um, the bunting triangles. You don't need to worry too much about the string that the bunting's attached because we'll be drawing that in using the ink pen. Um, just as long as you've got the definition of the little triangles in place and that's, that's great. Oh, 
Okay. Lovely. So we need to let this um, wet on wet of the wash of the sea um, to completely dry. I'm happy with the texture that I've managed to achieve just using that diagonal wash on the sky. So um, that's quite nice. I'm just going to leave the sky as it is. But this now needs to dry and then we'll put in some of the glazing um, tomorrow over the little sea. Um, and then we can start picking up some of the other details on the um, on the little boats as well. So that's it for today. So concentrate on doing your wet on wet wash for your sea. When it comes to the, um, the sky, you just want a nice diagonal wash of water applied and then just very, very lightly just take that paint colour through. Paint in your roofs of your little cottages if you're keeping those to the primary colours with the blue. So while you've got the blue on the palette, then paint in your little blue roofs. And like I say, we'll be back tomorrow to complete some of the glazing on here and also the details in the little boats. Any questions, you know where to find me. If you need any help at all, I'm more than happy to help and I shall see you all again tomorrow. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.